On today's episode of Aqua Kids, we're doing something shocking. <laughs> so, ready to make a difference? Building a better planet starts with you. Hey everybody at home and welcome to another exciting episode of Aqua Kids. I'm Katie. And I'm Clark. We're here at Diversity Harbor on Lake Michigan. Today we're going to be doing everything from catching fish to performing a necropsy. We're performing a necropsy? You mean we're looking inside a fish? Exactly. You ready to get started? I'm excited. Let's go. Yeah, we're going to be talking a little bit about VHS today. Hey Paul. Hi, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Glad to see you guys. Nice to meet you. You know, you guys know what VHS is? No. <laughs> what is it? It's viral hemorrhagic septicemia, and it's a viral disease of fish uh, that can cause massive mortalities in fish. Um, we do have uh, various symptoms of VHS, and it does affect uh, different uh, species of fish, and we're going to be sampling today some of those species that are on the susceptible species list for the VHS virus. So how is it spread? Oh, it's uh, spread between fish species, and um, one fish can actually carry the virus. Um, a lot of times the symptoms uh, are from, uh, as in the name, the hemorrhagic portion of viral hemorrhagic septicemia. The fish actually bleed to death. Uh, they can bleed externally or internally, so you can actually see the blood uh, on the outside of the fish's skin. Uh, another symptom is they uh, actually retain fluid inside their body cavity, so you can see an expanded abdomen. Uh, the eyes will sometimes bulge out because of that fluid, and uh, it's uh, not a good thing to see on the fish, so uh, that's what we're checking for. Another one of the uh, uh, things about VHS is it sometimes has no symptoms whatsoever, so uh, a lot of times uh, fish will look perfectly normal and uh, it can be a carrier of VHS. So can VHS spread to all types of fish or is it just a certain species? It's uh, actually uh, spread to 28 species uh, that we've known about and uh, well, that's the ones that we're going to be checking today. Uh, as we go out on the water, we're gonna be collecting those 28 species on the susceptible species list. Does VHS affect humans? Uh, no, uh, it, there's no th uh, threat to humans. Um, you can actually eat fish with VHS and uh, you won't die of VHS, so uh, it does have no effect on humans. So there, uh, a lot of people are concerned about that, and it's a very good question, but uh, yeah, it, uh, it won't hurt humans. Where has VHS been found? Uh, we've actually found it uh, sampling in Lake Michigan, and we've uh, found it in three of the five harbors that we are sampling in Lake Michigan. Uh, we're actually doing intensive surveillance uh, in the Chicago area. Since 2008, once we started the surveillance, we've actually uh, monitored 52 watersheds throughout the state of Illinois. Wow. We've actually sampled uh, over 24,000 fish in that time period. Oh, that's yeah. And uh, the only place that we've actually found it uh, is, again, in the three harbors here in, uh, in Lake Michigan. Swimming in the Great Lakes, our life was just a breeze But now we are in danger from VHS disease A virus hurts our species, on that you can relate But follow up these simple steps, don't contaminate Things are not fine, there's more on the line when you fish Help save our waters, help save our Bait. Wrap it up and throw it out, don't contaminate Keep us in our waters, don't mix up our pools Fish us out then throw us back, keep us with our schools Let's work as a team, cause there ain't no vaccine for us Help save our waters, help save our It's 
Wash your poles before you change your fishing holes. Wash your boats, your wells, and gear before you move from there to here. There's a lot on the line when you fish. Stay tuned for Rachel and Drew's fishing competition. See who catches the biggest fish.